Hi everybody, it's Galactic Man Larry here again and today we have in front of us from the G.I. Joe classified series line uh, the Red Deco Scarlet which I've had there for months but today I just decided it's time to replace this one and there we have her out of the packaging um, yeah, right away um, I think it's a good thing that I'm replacing the other one. I mean, just take a look at the difference in the face. As you can see, instead of the kind of brownish gray, we have a like a khaki color. Instead of the gold, we have well that same color. They like khaki. Instead of the blue on the upper body, we have black and we already talked about a face what else the shoulder is like the same like this i think the shurikens on her forearm there look a uh, pop out pop up a bit more you know and yeah the knees and the boots are just it's just a toned down color palette now that we have them closer we can appreciate more these differences yeah um, this one is a bit more like i don't know if i should say feminine like well anyway I just prefer how she looks. She comes, of course, with her two little knives here, which go into the sheet quiver thing on her back. Oh, that's a bit tight. But anyway, I hope they hold. And this other one, which goes in her chest uh, sheet. So you put it there and that's it. It comes with her trusty crossbow. I always am like, how, I mean, why would you go to war with this weird <laughs> thing, you know? But anyway, yeah, it's better just to take it apart before putting it into her hand. And um, then you put the upper part back there I don't know I think this one I will leave her with the crossbow thing another thing I wanted to point out is that the the new copies look this one had a loose waist the legs are fine but the waist was really like wiggly it's like in a yeah it was loose like this you know and this one is just uh, solid. She's no, well, she has a bit of a loose upper body, the diaphragm, you know, but a bit, just a bit. This much, this one is much more like solid. So, the butterfly joints. Wait a minute. No, no, no. So, jokes aside, the butterfly joints, I was able to hit the whole figure i took her apart actually i popped the the upper torso from the abdomen and the abdomen from the waist so now i have activated the butterfly joints they have like a click forward and a click backwards in each arm well this one is a bit less clear let's call it like that in any case the rest of the articulation yes in this figure the the belt well the belt is okay but this quiver thing it looks cool yeah but it gets in the way the whole time and it's a bit annoying i really like how this version looks much better than the than the other one yeah anyway the head is on a ball hinge so she can look up that much actually quite much but of course the hair will 
start to bring the you know the the head down she can look down that much combined with the the fact that the, i mean she has a lot of possibilities yes yeah? she can she has a lot of attitude tilt you know and the neck is also like in every figure of the gi joe line is a, it's a separate piece that goes into the upper body actually looking at that red line on the neck piece she could be a cobra agent don't you think anyway again the butterfly joints now i activated it again anyway the <coughs> the arms can go all the way around she sadly has only 90 degrees of bend at the elbows maybe if you i mean if you really want her to go a bit further you would have to cut a bit into the arms or the forearms i mean it can be done but it, you would get maybe a little bit more of bending you know if you carve a, a bit anyway it can be done if you have a spare figure of this you can experiment if you want maybe i'll do that one day but i don't have it now this hand and yes she has no bicep swivel it's all at the elbow like the the usual well now we have the double double jointed elbows nowadays but this this is right before the start started doing that the this hand can go in and out and turn all the way around this one is vertical but because the way the hand is sculpted and the hand armor and so you don't have much well actually you do hitting it helped the hand to gain a bit of freedom you know it's not much but yeah well actually maybe it's enough you know good for wielding weapons um she has again the she can go all the way around on the waist also on the diaphragm i think yeah she can go every way she has that much lean forward she can lean backwards that much which is it's good i mean the only part where she's not that good is in the elbows i would say the legs she can hmm weird duke has the whole splits and she doesn't and uh, even with the drop down no but uh, well it's still you can get good kicks out of that the legs can go forward that much with the drop down quite a lot i mean this is a good example of a worthy drop down you know normally it would be just like that but using the drop down mechanism you get i mean if you properly exploit it you really get the high kicks with this with this girl which is good now she can well backwards almost nothing she has the thigh cut of course she can bend the knees <laughs> bend the knee that much the sculpt gets in the way this kind of rocket propul propulsor in her boots i mean she has cool boots it's a bit kind of power ranger stuff here you know <laughs> anyway yeah again if you want well even without that thing the upper part of the boot would get on the way so i was gonna say maybe you can car uh, cut that out but uh, i don't know if you really you would have to cut also this uh, dented part of the boot if you want to gain more but i don't know if you really need that you know you have the boot cut just where the boot starts which is perfect right. As I took her out of the packaging, the, the feet were like the indentation. Well, the dents of the feet were a bit like not in the right place, not in the right place. But now that I heated the figure, it seems like things fixed themselves, you know. 
Yes, and that's Scarlet. Here we have the Baroness because, yeah, you have to compare with her like counterpart. Here we have uh, another weird character. I, oh. I think that's that could be a like a battle armor Baron. I mean, she has armor, yeah, but maybe this could be even more armor. The only problem is that the a from Avengers is uh, carved in, you know, but uh, yeah, it could be sculpted and then, I mean, you know, like taken out and you could put a Cobra logo there or something, but I kind of like this, but it would go well with a Battle Armor Cobra Commander or something like that. Cobra Trooper uh, Infantry, I mean, which is almost the same, I mean. Sculpt wise is the same, right? Here we have Breaker, which I recently reviewed, or maybe my very the review I did before this one, you know. And here we have Firefly Dun -dun -dun. because, yeah. And also, here we have the Cookie Monster, Scarlet. Yeah, I hope, I mean, this really is like a, I don't want to say that it's an upgrade, but it's kind of a, it depends what you prefer, but I think the, again, this head was a bit, in camera it looks fine, yeah? But as soon as I look a bit from above, she looks all pale. The, she has a bit of makeup, like a bit of shadow below the eyebrows. But even, I mean, from a distance, her eyebrows sometimes, I mean, it looks as if she, as if she had none. I mean, she looks just like pale. You can see the eyes and the nose and the very pale lips. This one, yeah, I mean, she has makeup. <laughs> I don't know, it just makes her look a bit more like lively, you know, alive. She has some color to her face. This one is a bit too pale. Wendy Scarlet. Yeah, please uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this kind of content. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, ciao.